it's Moni XO and today I'm here in front of Isis Plain and Fancy. I'm going to be talking to the operating manager and founder Darla Crass today and she is going to be the victim of my closer jar. So stay tuned. Talk XO. OMG XO. What's up? Going live with Moni XO. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Introduce yourself, sir. Uh, my name is uh, Trey. I'm the a cameraman for today. Um, it's gonna be a good day. We're at Icy's Plain and Fancy, and uh, he's doing my job for me. OMG XO! Go ahead and introduce yourself to the camera right, right there. Super excited. <laughs> My name is Tyler Crass, and I'm one of the owners and the operator of Ice is Plain and Fancy, or St. Louis's Liquid Nitrogen Ice Cream Parlor. So we make all your ice cream to order. Awesome. And then today is National Ice Cream Day first. So I'm super excited about that. That's and it. it's also your sixth anniversary. It, it is. is. So we made it. <laughs> So before we get into the different uh, activities that you guys have in store for today, tell me about a little bit about the history of your business. Well, me and my three partners, we were really just like sitting around thinking, like, my brother's a chef, and other business partners love small businesses, the other one's a graphic designer, I'm like a manager, like, he's going to be a bar manager in construction. Okay. And we're just like, what can we do? We're playing around with what we're going to do the next time from the restaurant, and like, just came up with this. And we're like, you know what, St. Louis doesn't have one of these. If we do it now, before like a chain moves in, we can do it our way, which yes. is like, we want to use seasonal produce, local farmers, as much as like, help out as many other businesses with our business as possible. And so we did it, and it worked, it's working. Right. <laughs> and I love the area that you guys are in, it's like the perfect place for ice cream. Oh so, my gosh. First of all, I love ice cream. Um, can you talk about the different you have boozy ice cream, you have plain, so plain and fancy. What are some of the different? So, okay. Ice is plain and fancy is the name of an ice cream cookbook made by a woman named Alice Marshall. She's up on the wall there. Okay. Uh, she was a Victorian chef, entrepreneur, restaurateur, like she was a teacher. She was like the Martha Stewart of Victorian times. She's totally my hero. Awesome. Uh, so, plain would be for like everyday consumption. So, she would have like the ice cream that you would make at your house. Mm -hmm. And then fancy, you should have levels of fancy. So like, I'm having friends over, make it fancier. I'm having like someone important over, fancy, fancy. So that's what that's how we, we do like it. all the classics. The seasonals are our fancy ones. We get real fancy with the campfire s'mores and have smoke domes and all that stuff. We can have a lot of fun. And then with the booze, we can freeze alcohol with the night here. So our ice cream, like I had to get a liquor license. How does that, <laughs> I don't know how that, that works. I don't know what you think. All I know is ice cream is good. So I don't know how that works. It's boozy. So the liquid nitrogen is negative 320 degrees. Um, it will freeze alcohol. So every one of our PC ice creams has like basically two ounces of booze in it. So basically you can get lit. You could. <laughs> and, and you're not. Like the, the Iron Grandma is literally a beer in a shot. Oh, it's a shot of Grandma Yay in the ice cream and then you float it with the cast iron yeah. product beforehand. So how does that work? Um, obviously, people have to be our guys to come around. Um, how does that work when it comes to the getting it out um, because of how much alcohol is in the okay? Um, the walkout and then eat around? They have to eat around. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we can't. Well, right now, we can do to go. Okay. Because the, the state's helping yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what's your favorite? My favorite is Thank strawberry. So St. Louis's strawberry season is only like two weeks long. So we all we drive down to Pontchartrain, Louisiana. There is a female farmer down there. We hit her up every year, and we bring back as many strawberries as we can hold. And then we puree them. We make them in a jam. We do all kinds of stuff. And then we have strawberries, but we only have once a year, so it's special. So now let's talk about the activities that we have today for National Ice Cream Day. Well, usually we block off the street and have a big street party. But we couldn't do that this year because yeah. it's Corona summer. <laughs> um, 
Because usually we like the, like just a thank you to the neighborhood. I have like music out there all day, a balloon guy for kids, and stuff like that. So today, luckily, St. Louis is so lucky we have the red and black red band. So they're going to come by at three, and my normal guy that does balloons brought me two giant balloon ice cream cones. So oh, we'll have those out. Right? Yeah, so we'll put those out. It's going to be really hot, so we'll get some tents up, and I got a big fan that I borrowed from my dad. <laughs> And we'll just do our best to have a good time. Now, this is called the Poker Party Guy. <laughs> and so in here, it's random questions. And I want you to pick three out. You're just going to read them out loud to me, and you're going to answer those. All right. I only have one cup of coffee. <laughs> My brain is on. It's starting. <laughs> if I had to give up one thing that you do every day, what would it be? Ooh. That's what makes you think a little bit. Yeah, it does. I like think through my day. Oh man, I don't know. Do you get up every morning on time? You know what? Snooze. Mm. I wish that I like. I could not snooze. Because <laughs> if I would just get up, I would be fine. But once you hit it, it's like it keeps going. And going. If you could replace all of the grass in the world with something else, what would it be? <laughs> this one's easy because I'm really not a fan of grass. <laughs> I think it's so boring. Yeah. I think it takes up so much space that it's so monotonous. Like, <laughs> let's have like wildflowers and not gardens. Oh yeah. Like, something cooler, fun to look at. What are the three best things about you that you wouldn't put in your bio <laughs> <laughs> for a while? <laughs> okay. Um, I think it's good about me that I am independent. Mm -hmm. That doesn't sometimes go over so well with dating. Yeah, I can yeah. agree with you on that. If you're dating somebody that's an alpha, two alphas may not mix. Yeah, or you know, like I'll you know I'll I'll see you when I get off work, and then your phone starts ringing half an hour before you're supposed to get off work. Like, where are you? I can't. I don't know. <laughs> It's good, but I don't want anyone to know it. That's where it's stuck. <laughs> right. I would try to like put all the personal about me and be like, I'm cool, <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. Um, I would put, I mean, a good thing about me, I love St. Louis. I love my neighborhood. So make sure you guys support local businesses. This one is in St. Louis right here. I'll, I can't pronounce this for Please say it for me. Shandola. <laughs> 39th in the beautiful historic Shaw neighborhood.